Next is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 43. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 30th, 1973, in London, England. Translation O Krishna, maintainer of the people, I have heard by disciplic succession that those who destroy family traditions dwell always in hell. So, family tradition, whose family tradition? Manisha. Family, <coughs> Manisha, those who are two men beings, they have got family, and family, uh, rituals, Kula Dharma, Jati Dharma, uh, just like Chatur Bandham Maya system, Guna Karma Vihala. This is meant for the human being, Manasrana, not for the animals. <coughs> so, unless the human society accepts these uh, principles of Varnasana Dharma, ordained by Krishna, the Supreme Lord. <coughs> he is not considered amongst the human beings. They are as good as animals, because there is no uh, regular systematic principles of how to live a human being. Therefore, in the uh, Vishnu Puran, uh, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was talking with Ramananda Rai, so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu inquired, what is the actual aim of life? Sadha sadha. Sadha and sadha. What is the aim? Sadha means what for this human form of life we have got. That is called sadhya. The goal. The goal of life. And sadha. Sadha means the activity by which we can attain, we can achieve that goal of life. This is called sadha sadhya. Uh, the Darian theory, although they are giving some idea of progressive uh, evolution, but he does not know what is the goal of life, why this progress is there, that these rascals they do not know. <coughs> and simply, just imagine it, taking some hints from the Padma Purana, Brahma Vaivatta Puna. Asitin Satyam Chaiva. Jivajatish. Lokhan Stam Jivajatish. There are eight, eight million four hundred thousand types of Jivajati. Asitin Satyam Chaiva Lokhan Stam Jivajatish. This is already there. Brahman he <coughs> in this way the living entity is wandering in the cycle of transmigration and the soul. So from this Mr. Darwin might have taken some hints, but he could not explain properly. He could not catch up that Brahman he who is wondering? So it is a chaos. So anyway, uh, why this living entity is wondering? Not fixed up. So there must be some goal. He is hankering after that. 
there must be some goal of life. To, to achieve that goal of life, that is called sadha. Why you are struggling here? For happiness or something else, you are struggling. So this question was raised by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So what is the goal of life? Unless there is goal of life, why there is struggle? Why there, there must be some goal of life? Sadhana. And sadhana. Sadhana means the means by which we can achieve that goal of life. That is called sadhana. Sadhana. <coughs> So Ramananda Rai quoted because when there is talk between two learned persons, they, they say nowadays it has become a fashion, in my opinion, I think in this way. Say, what nonsense why is who can say? What is your knowledge? But he is very proud. Everyone rises. The other day, the son, Alistair, Alistair Hardy came, he also said, uh, it is my opinion. Nobody thinks that he is a nonsense number one, what is the value of his opinion? Nobody thinks. But this is a basic principle. Even Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he when he was asked by Prakashananda Saraswati that you are a sannyasi, you do not engage yourself in the study of Vedanta, you are simply chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. So, because sannyasi is supposed to be always reading Vedanta philosophy, especially and all other philosophy. So, what is this that you are chanting? like a, a sentimental person. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied, yes, my Guru Maharaj, spiritual master, saw me a fool number one. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, it was known to Prakashana Saraswati, he was a great learned scholar in his student life. So, he is posing himself as a fool number one. So this is the way Chaitanya Chaitamrita, the author of Chaitanya Chaitamrita, he is presenting himself as a Purisher ki thaite mui se lobhishta. I am lower than the world of the two. Purisher ki thaite mui se lobhishta. Logistra means lower. Lowest. Javai Madhai Haite Nui Se Papishtu. Javai Madhai was second. Uh, he was there, drunkard, so man hunter, therefore they simple. So Chaitanya Chaitamurta Vakara says that uh, Javai Madhai Haite Nui Se Papishtu. Although uh, this, this is the way. Uh, nobody thinks himself as one has become very big man and he has his own opinion to give. This is person. Uh, everyone should think that I am feel what, I, what is my rank? Uh, that is really love. Humble and me. And nobody should think that now I have learnt everything. I can surpass everyone. Uh, I have become uh, above all rules and regulations. Now I have become paramount. This is rustic. Uh, everyone should always think and fool number one. Uh, therefore they never will go on to become perfect. If we think that now I have become perfect, Paramahamsa, 
then the spiritual regulatory principles will never be followed. No need for that. <coughs> so, here Arjuna also says, the narate niyatanga basa bhavati iti anusustuma. Krishna, I am tired of him. Authority of him. He never says, Krishna, in my opinion, if it is done like that, then people will go to hell. He does not give his own opinion. He says, it is thus anusustuma abha. This is called paramparasis. Nobody should give his own opinion. He must quote the authoritative statement to support his proposition. So similarly, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked, what is the aim of life and how to achieve it? So Ramananda Rai, he did not give his own opinion. That in my opinion, like this. Here also Arjun said, it is only susuma. I have heard it. Yard it means susuma, means heart from authority. So Ramananda I said that a real purpose of life, goal of life, is to satisfy the Supreme Personality of God. That type, as we are citizens, what is our duty? We want to satisfy the authority, the government. And one serves the government nicely in this country, he is recognized as knight, he is recognized as earl, as lord, as so many they have got title. <coughs> Every country, when a person is a very exalted citizen, then he is recognized by the God. So if this is the system in our ordinary life, then the aim of life should be to satisfy the Supreme Governor or Supreme God. Very common sense. But they have no supreme God. They think whatever government we make, that is fine. No. There are so many kingdoms, so many planets. In each planet there is government, there is authority. And above all of them, there is the supreme authority, Krishna. Ishara Parama Krishna. Satchidananda Vibra. This is the Shastri in that. There are many controllers. In this planet there is controller, there is another planet, another planet. In Brahma is the controller of the whole universe. Just like in our government there is system, one department, several departments is being managed by another director, several director is being managed by another secretary. And the same system. Uh, Krishna is the supreme proprietor, Sarvaloka Mahesha. And he has got many secretaries as his friends. Uh, they are called Brahma. So Brahma means the manager of one Brahman universe. And there are millions of Brahmas. Millions, trillions, the numberless. Ananda Koti. Jasya Prabha Prabhavato Jagadanda Koti. Koti. Koti means Sanskrit. Jagadanda. Jagadanda means in where? Brahmanda or Jagadanda. Anda. Anda means it is egg set. Around egg set. That is called Anda. Brahmanda. Uh, Bhuvol, gold means round. Uh, I have heard that before, 
this time the people were under the impression that this world is square. Is it not? Flat. Flat. Flat, yes. But in the Vedic Shastra, uh, millions of years ago, it is mentioned, Bhūgo, gold, gold means down. Just uh, see. And these Lashkas say that formally people are not so intelligent. They are intelligent because they are thinking this world is um, flat. And those who have spent millions of years ago, it is round, they have it lessened. Bhu gold, gold means round. Bhu gold. <coughs> Similarly, Jagadanda, Anna means round. Just like egg. Anna means egg. Jagadanda, this thing where is exit. <coughs> and you can see also the sky is round. This is the wall of this universe. So anyway, so as we are here in this small government, our business is to satisfy the government. You publicly, suppose if you decry the queen, or if you say publicly in a meeting, the queen is a prostitute, then what will be? Immediately you will be arrested and punished. <clears throat> In your private house you can say, nobody will hear. But if you say such thing nonsense in public, immediately you will be criminal. Therefore your duty is to respect the king, queen, to abide by the orders of the government. That is your aim of good citizenship. What is the difference between good citizen and outlaw? The difference is a good citizen is always trying to satisfy the government by abiding the laws given. <coughs> so therefore our ultimate goal is to satisfy the supreme God, Krishna. Because Krishna is the supreme. These universe says they are uh, Krishna's kingdom. There are many kingdoms, just like we have got many universes within this material world. Similarly, there are many spiritual planets in the spiritual world. These are common sense affairs. Why right? people will not understand? Uh, therefore, our business is to satisfy Krishna. To become perfect. Satisfy Krishna. Vishnu Aradha. <coughs> so how Vishnu Aradha This is the philosophy. Nothing we do Sartha go thing in Vishnu. Uh, suppose in an office you are immediate boss, some superintendent of the office, you follow his order. Uh, although he is not final, above the superintendent of the office there is another secretary, above the secretary there is another director, uh, above the director there is managing director. These are common sense people. Uh, similarly, there are many, many controllers. Uh, but the supreme controller is Krishna. Uh, Vishnu. So it is common sense at that, that our aim of life is to satisfy the Supreme Lord, Vishnu, or Krishna. This is common sense. Huh? Is there any other reasoning that why you should be satisfied? No. You have to satisfy. Huh? So this is Vaishnavism. One who wants to satisfy Vishnu, he is called Vishnu. That is Vaishnavism. Vishnu uh, means the Supreme Law. So everything is arranged to satisfy the Lord Vishnu. So where from it begins? The cats and dogs, they, they can be trained up for satisfying Vishnu? No. 
There is no possibility. They are dogs, animals. They are simply busy with four principles of life. Eating, sleeping, sex life, and business. That's all. They cannot be trained by <coughs> that you become uh, very obedient to Lord Vishnu, become a devotee. Manmana bhava madhapta madhyadi mahamnamaskuru. You become uh, the devotee of Krishna. Uh, no, that is not possible. Therefore, it is said that uh, manusānāṁ, manusānāṁ, it is the duty of the manusya, not of the dog. Manusya, utsanna kula dharmāna manusānāṁ So, human life has got a great responsibility. If you become like cats and dogs, uh, then Uttanna, uh, everything is destroyed. Uttanna, Kuladhana. They have no family. They don't care for any rules and regulations. Uttanna, everything is destroyed. Jaganna, uh, Gunavit, Tishka. No family life, no taking bath, no working, nothing at all. It is possible. I've seen it in Amsterdam. What is that part? Horrible. A candle. This, this, what was spoken by Arjun five thousand years ago. It is now happening. Full sun, all the stuff. Finish. Kula Dharmana. No family land. Therefore, for human beings, uh, it is the duty to understand his position, and it is his duty to satisfy the supreme law, which, which is the whole plan. Therefore, uh, Ramananda Rai quoted the verse from Vishnu Pura, the Varnasama Charvatanga Purusina Paraptama, Vishnu Aradhi. Because the aim, the aim is to satisfy Vishnu, to become Vaishnava. Uh, to become Brahmana is also uh, lower status. We will hear from the Chaitanya Chaitanya that uh, our Madhavandra Puri was installed in details. So there are many Brahmanas caste Brahmana, born in So in order to give charge of worship to those Brahmanas, he initiated them to become Vaishnava. Because without becoming Vaishnava, nobody has that right to worship Vishnu. Vishnu will not accept anything from anyone unless he is devotee. And this means poverty statement that he has come to take from you. Uh, he cannot eat, he has no eating uh, means. No. He agrees to accept our offering uh, just on the basis of love. Uh, the Vaishnava loves Vishnu, and Vishnu agrees to accept any pushta, patram pushtam, phalam kriyam, yumi bhaktya apurachati. The bhakti is meant not your palatable dish. Vishnu uh, is quite competent to prepare thousand times better palatable dishes than we can offer. Uh, but the real thing is bhakti. Uh, so Vishnu aradhana means Vishnu, that, that should be the aim of human life. Vishnu Aradhana means one must become a Vaishnava. And Vaishnava means renovated life. Not destroy everything. Finish. To become a horse. Uh, that is not Vaishnava. Vaishnava means, means renovated. Aim to how to satisfy Vishnu. The whole basic scheme is there. 
how to satisfy Vishnu. Therefore it is said, the Uttsanna Pura Dharmanam Manasana in the human life if they do not follow the regulative principles of family life, family tradition, and systematic arrangement of whole division of the society, Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, uh, in this way we can satisfy the Supreme Law. Our aim is to satisfy the Supreme Law, and this can be done perfectly if we follow the uh, regulative principles of jati dharma, kula dharma. Uh, 